Believe it or not, I found a, a research study done by a Canadian university that showed that certain Christmas songs can make food taste better to you, and other songs make it taste worse. Eartha Kitt's Santa Baby is supposed to improve the taste of red wine by as much as 10%. Santa Baby. I don't get it. Just slip a sable under the tree. They say that different songs, um, and they classify them as sweet or sour. They say this has a high pitch, makes wine taste good. But they said songs like Elton John's Step Into Christmas or Mariah Carey's All I Want are in the sour category and make wine taste worse. Well, I don't know about that, but somebody who may have more to say about that. Cooking with Kimberly's Kimberly Turner. Does this make you want to drink red wine, Kim? <laughs> I don't know if it makes me want to drink red wine. It's a little early. <laughs> oh, it's never too early. Come on. You're awake, right? Uh, yeah, I am. I am. <laughs> what? <laughs> so, doing I'm doing great. So, uh, next week, people will be as stressed out by the dinner as they will be by anything else. So, maybe you can help us with this. I know. You know, you want to try and find things that you can make that doesn't doesn't stress you out, that you can actually spend some time with the family and your friends and loved ones. Um, try and make things ahead of time. That's my biggest tip. A couple days before, as many things as you can possibly get ready, do that. So you can actually relax and have some fun. Makes a whole lot of sense. So let's start Absolutely. beginning, Dan. Let's start with the hors d'oeuvres. I've got it, hors d'oeuvres. Now, do you like roasted or boiled chestnuts, Mr. Tim? <laughs> um, uh, being that I haven't uh, been uh, into either one of them much, I'll try the roasted ones. Yes, I think we should do roasted. So I would always have some roasted chestnuts just because it's real festive and it's fun. It's a conversation piece as well. It's too easy to do. Throw them in your oven for like 20 minutes, you know, and you're good to go. You have to do anything to them before they go in? That's it? You know, you just have to make an X on that rounded side yep. with a knife without puncturing the, the nut and you're good to go. Excellent. Okay. And then... <laughs> I think that, you know, my mom likes always to have a pate out. Not everyone likes pate, but I did a really killer Bordeaux cherry balsamic chicken liver pate. Oh, with, I know. Bordeaux cherry all over the pate with wonderful crackers. You want to have a nice spread, different kinds of cheeses, maybe baked brie with maple and pecans or with some Haskap chutney. Like or, yeah, wouldn't that be good? And spicy fig and pistachio tapenade with cream cheese. Ooh, okay. Now, right. ha have we left yeah. any room for the main course? You have, you have. That's what's next, too. Make sure you get your orders into Harvest Barn, too. They have natural turkeys and spiral hams and lambs and things for these occasions and New Year's and stuff. So I've been so fortunate to have a beautiful spiral-sliced ham this week. We did a honey-glazed one. We also did a blackberry ginger balsamic one. That was fantastic, using some great stuff from Nass Valley Vinegar Company. Awesome balsamics. You can do with just a few different interesting flavors. Use it through the hors d'oeuvres, all the way through the desserts and the cocktails even. So we did that, and we did a beautiful glazed holiday turkey task app again. We did barbecue turkey. You know we've been making a whole bunch of Christmas meals, so we did yep. barbecue turkey, a Chipotle Cabernet barbecue holiday turkey. It was out of this world. I you don't think of barbecue for Christmas, but I wasn't mad at barbecue. <laughs> no kidding. My, and actually, you know, there's supposed to be a storm coming on Christmas, so it might be kind of uh, romantic to get out there in the midst of the snow and uh, and barbecue. So. Yeah. Well, we did, we used a barbecue sauce. We didn't even get it out there in the grill. We just glazed it with a barbecue sauce, and man, it really kicked it up. Love or, it. Yeah. Or you could do a prime rib, but make sure you make Yorkshire pudding with it. Yep. Oh, it goes without saying for celebrating. I'm not a big Yorkshire fan, no? but everybody in my family is. Oh, me too. Great all over it. Awesome. Which puts us into the sides. You can do all different kinds of stuffing. We've done a beautiful rice stuffing already this season. We've done half gap apple stuffing. And I made a really great cracked meat stuffing with dried apricots and dill the other day. It was out of this world. All right. Marking yeah. that down. Yep. Yep. Kumquat cranberry sauce. Excuse me? Kumquat cranberry sauce. Okay. They have tropical fruit in at Harvest Barn. And they have like dragon fruit and star fruit and things like that. Try a, a certain different fruit, add it to your cranberry sauce, and you will be wowed. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those things. Everybody makes fun of the name, and I don't know how many people have actually ever had a kumquat. I know that exactly. So get out there and at least try them. Okay. See what everyone's missing. <laughs> gotcha. And mashed turnip. We always have to have turnip. That's just the way we do things. <laughs> All right. Now, uh, I, I did want to check with you before we run out of too much time here, because one of the things that you always do when people are coming over is put a punch together. A punch, yes, absolutely. You do a nice rum punch. 
two punch. You want two punches because the kids will dip into it. So be careful. So have one punch and then spike the one with maybe some rum. You could also do a cranberry tea for those that aren't drinking. Okay, Kim. Kim, we're lemonade. for some reason we are losing you, and oh. I don't know quite why, but we're we're only getting about every second or third word. Oh boy. Yeah. So we're ha- we got a bad connection here this morning. But let tell everybody where they can find you so they can get all of the recipes. Awesome. You can follow me on. Um, at Cooking with Kim E on Twitter. Get to the fan page at facebook.com slash cooking with Kimberly. You can find me at ifood.tv slash cooking with Kimberly, youtube.com slash cooking with Kimberly, and I'm on Roku. And go to my website at cookingwithkimberly.com for all. 